I want to keep pushing the idea of hemp for um, the economy, industrial hemp, and it's illegal to grow hemp in the United States <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. Talking about industrial hemp, not the marijuana plant. Um, yeah, they've been they develop plants in France that are extremely low THC, so they don't have any of the narcotic type qualities of weed or anything like that. And I don't know, some people say weed doesn't have that anyway, but let's you know, it takes it out of the argument. The THC is not in industrial hemp, hardly at all. The question is, why is it illegal to grow hemp in the US? And I've answered that question. It's really competition from the oil companies. You know, the problem is people in the middle class are dead wood. Actually, the solution is right here in front of people. And I'm going to suggest, yes, how the heck do you get started on this? You can't even buy the seeds. If you got the seeds, it's illegal to do. Well, one thing, just buy products that use hemp. One is hemp oil. Hemp oil is actually an extremely good product. has a number of health benefits. It has the exact right blend of essential fatty acids, unlike flax oil has a little bit too much of one kind versus another kind. Uh, some claim it has a lot of properties that, well, will just keep you healthy. How's that? I'm not going to get into too many details on that because who knows if you could say that or not. But it's been around a long time, thousands of years. Don't think it would be something bad, you know, if people were using it that long in every kind of culture there is across the earth. So, uh, buy the products. Keep supporting the products. You notice, like, this is right off of Amazon. You know, I don't sell this or anything. I've used this product. I bought this product. I have several bottles of it here right now. Nutiva hemp, Nutiva hemp seed oil. And you notice the reviews. It's almost five stars. So, quite obviously, a lot of people think it's a good product besides myself. Here's another product. Hemp moisturizer. I've used, like, hemp products that had hemp in it. Now you notice here almost a five star review again. Inexpensive product, free, sh free shipping. But this is one way to get this stuff growing in the United States as part of the economy. This is actually a more economical, more useful product than a lot of other stuff that's being sold out there. Hemp is actually very good for the skin. Very good. Because it has protein in it too. Just like sometimes people back in the 1920s and before that used to use egg whites for hair and skin uh, that's because of the protein and hemp does have a lot of protein plus it has all the correct essential fatty acids so um, and I know they hate to say this but uh, it seems like there's some anti-cancer properties to it too so pretty good stuff and here is the hemp protein Hemp protein actually is a complete protein, 50% 50 50 protein, all organic. You know, showing well, most of the customers have very good reviews on it. Free ship or shipping and inexpensive. So that's one way to get it going because, say, you don't want to bother calling up a representative. You know, what are they going to do anyway? You know, what does a congressperson do? You know, I mean, you have to get a gazillion people calling them up before they do anything you know it's like forget about it what you have to do is get a gazillion people buying hemp products guess what greed will take over and a product will be grown here in the United States you know the oil industry will get into it how's that <laughs> anyway um, why is it illegal to grow hemp in the United States state it's the oil industry <laughs> they hate this product it's in direct competition about every damn thing they got from gasoline and lubricants to plastics to pharmaceuticals plus in other areas they don't have like it's food but you also have the paper pulp industry for thousands of years hemp was used to make dozens of commercial products like paper rope canvas and textiles uh, yeah because many years ago hemp was unjustly banned <laughs> that's not yeah um, you know I hate to even come from it this the side word you know let's just be all peaceful about this actually people got to be aggressive about this but the way to be aggressive is to just keep buying hemp products you're doing yourself a lot of good you're actually replacing um, another product that isn't as good with a product that's cheaper and more effective in many cases so you're doing yourself good and the reason is I want to push this hemp is because it is a smart product 
It's just that the real problem is, just like anything, anybody can do this. When you got some complicated industry that nobody can get into because you need very heavy machinery, you have to have expertise on, you know, where to drill and, you know, you have to go through the EPA. This stuff, and you notice this guy standing right next to this plant, it's about 10 to 20 feet tall, grows like that in four months, you know. And the potential goes. The potential of hemp for paper production is enormous. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, one acre of hemp can produce four times more paper than one acre of trees. Except it takes like 50 years to grow a tree, and it takes four months to grow the hemp. Big difference right there. So all this uh, newsprint, computer paper, stationery, cardboard, envelopes, toilet paper, and everything can be come from hemp. Can hemp come from hemp? So uh, it would eliminate the world for chopping down billions of trees, you know, save the earth. Well, you know, the game is, it's not save the earth, it's save their money, save their racket. So like I, I just want to repeat again, just keep buying hemp products because probably, you know, signing a petition to somebody isn't going to do a hell of a lot of good. We've already seen that happen a bunch of times. But buying hemp is like buying uh, anything, you know. People said buy silver, buy gold, and all this type of stuff. Buy hemp. And actually, um, in a real sense, if this actually became legal for everybody to grow this stuff, um, it would be more important to the economy than any uh, than the actual the currency itself. Because this could actually function as the currency. It has functioned as currency before. And it makes sense. Salt functioned as currency before, too. Something is a viable, viable uh, com product or commodity. It can function as a currency, uh, and it goes on to say that fewer, fewer because fewer caustic and toxic chemicals are used to make paper from hemp than are used from baked from trees. Hemp also causes less pollution. So um, it also means uh, hemp naturally repels weed growth, and hemp has few insect enemies. That means hemp requires no herbicides and few or no pesticides. So how you know how could you go wrong? Plus, it uses less fertilizer than corn. Plus, it grows a lot faster. Plus, can be used better, more efficiently for hempoline for gasoline versus corn. So, cotton requires enormous pesticides. Fifty percent of all pesticides used in the United States are used on cotton. Substituting hemp for cotton would drastically reduce pesticide usage. Now, also that comes into play, pesticides run off into the water supply. It goes into the uh, groundwater, right? It goes into the water table. It goes into the rivers. And the other thing is, when, you know, it's not stating it in this blog, and I'll actually post a link on this blog. Um, when hemp is used in clothing, clothing lasts much, much, much longer than cotton clothing. Hemp lasts much, much, much longer. Um, <clears throat> hemp produces twice as much fiber per acre than cotton. So it doesn't use the pesticides and it produces twice as much. How's that? An area of only 25 miles by 25 miles square, the size of a typical U.S. county, planted with hemp can produce enough fiber in one year to make 100 million pairs of denim jeans, which will last 10 times longer than the cotton jeans. A wide variety of clothing can be made from 100% hemp. Just about everything. Just about everything. Also, they're starting to do building materials. I know they're doing that in France. Some of the stuff can't be structural. They sometimes they make it sound like the whole building is made out of hemp or some kind of de derivative hemp. That's not necessarily true. Sometimes it's more like the non-structural stuff. You know, you might be things in it that are. Uh, for insulation and stuff like that, but it's still very useful and since it grows very fast. Uh, hemp seeds are a source of nutritious high protein oil that can be used for human and animal consumption. And uh, yeah, well, hemp oil is not intoxicating. Obviously, hemp oil is actually vastly superior to flax oil. Vastly superior. It's got the exact balance of EFAs in it versus flax doesn't have that. Uh, and actually, hemp has an extremely high quality protein. It's not just that it has a 
good amount of protein, about 33% normally, but that one product I showed was 50% because that was like an extra good product. Um, it can actually, it'll have a complete protein. And that's one of the things, the quality of the protein is much higher. So, uh, you know, the other thing is, unlike oil-based products, hemp-derived products are non-toxic, biodegradable, and renewable. So, like, you know, you have all these plastics going to landfills. All these plastics can be made with hemp. I mean, it's not a plastic in itself, but it could be replacement just like plastic. And when it goes into a landfill, it'll eventually biodegrade. Unlike plastics, which are going to be around for a gazillion years. You even saw, like, the Rothschild floating around in his boat, um, you know, his sailboat. If you saw that Rothschild, um, you know, of the famous family. And he's out there in the ocean saying, look, I was surprised that I found all this garbage out in the ocean, these plastics. Well, it's coming from the oil industry. Guess what the solution is to that? All those plastics could be made from hemp. Industrial hemp. I'm not talking about the stuff people smoke. Industrial hemp. Industrial hemp. So, uh, unlike many products, hemp puts little strain on the soil. It requires only moderate amounts of fertilizer. Like I said, it requires a lot less fertilizer than corn. Less fertilizer uses less, uses less results in less runoff into waterways and groundwater, therefore less water pollution. Just like you know, I stated before with the pesticides, and it requires no herbicides, so there's no runoff from that. In some cases, you don't even need the pesticides, so there you go. Hemp produces more biomass than any plant that can be grown in the U.S. The biomass can be converted to fuel in the form of clean burning alcohol. And that was the deal with Rockefeller. Rockefeller outlawed alcohol by paying $4 million to the women's suffrage movement back a long time ago before it went out, before Prohibition, that get Prohibition started. So Rockefeller could have a exclusive market of gasoline from his crude oil for cars. He wiped out the competition from the farmers in the alcohol. So, I mean, there's another reason, but... Uh, Hemp has dozens of medical proven medical uses. Uh, Rick, Rick Simpson, you know, very famous about cancer. But, you know, I'm coming from a person that I don't smoke any weed or anything like that. I'm just thinking, this is something realistic. This is something very realistic. Hemp for medical use is more effective, less toxic, less expensive than alternative synthetic medicines currently used. So, you know, it's you know, it's been used for arthritis, AIDS, rheumatism, leukemia, multiple sclerosis, cancer, glaucoma and other ailments. So, there's been a lot that's been done with and uh it's been around forever and ever. It's been around longer than any other plant probably. Um it basically came from a lot of false claims which were pushed by people connected with the oil industry. And uh they outlawed marijuana and hemp in 1937. That was about the same year, the same year that they came out with a machine that can produce, that can uh, harvest and produce the hemp from the plant a lot faster. Just like, you know, Eli Whitney's cotton gin did with the cotton. They could produce the cotton real fast. They came up with a machine around that year, 1937, where they can harvest and, you know, harvest the hemp really fast and they were predicting that it was going to be one of the largest agriculture industries in the world due to this because of that machine that came out well the oil industry and the petrochemical and DuPont and all this other garbage had to get together come up with a bunch of garbage about it being um, a drug and they outlawed it they outlawed it which is about the same year that they came out with this machine that could actually produce the hemp from the crop very quickly so this actually is the economic solution and it's only one word it isn't gold it isn't silver it's actually hemp and that's the reality behind it gold and silver will preserve your wealth hemp will grow your wealth that's a big difference it's something that really you really know and uh, unfortunately, uh, you can write your congressman and all you want. And actually, I think Ben Bernanke might even listen to you a little bit on this. He might not listen about gold or silver, but you never know. I almost have a feeling that guy is one of those uh, people like Bill Clinton and uh, Barack Obama, you know. They partake in this stuff. 
And I'm not saying I do, and I don't. I don't. I actually don't, you know. Never got into it. And um, I'm too much uh, into health, and, you know, some people argue and say it's healthy for you, but I take the hemp oil, and I take the hemp protein. I think that's healthy. I don't smoke anything like that, and I don't want to confuse the issue here because this is about industrial hemp. But I think Ben Bernanke... Um, needs to uh, get on with this and uh, I wouldn't even mind a currency based upon hemp like back before George Washington was alive they used to use uh, hemp to pay taxes with why not right and uh, this to me is one of the best ways to go about improving the economy and uh, like if you really can't write your congressman or do anything about it buy the products hemp protein um, hemp moisturizer age defying right very good stuff and uh, hemp oil seed just buy the products and they're not much money and they're very 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 beneficial the idea is not to just promote something for promoting something the idea is to promote something that's very smart that's going to be very beneficial that everybody can do and everybody can benefit by depending on how hard they work I think this is an excellent idea I knew about it before but I want to start keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it I think this is excellent